Hi, this is Dino, and I want to show you how to uh, install the Drupal rules module and how to use it for a particular task inside the Apogee Edge developer portal. So what we have here is an example developer portal, not a real one. Um, and I'm visiting this page as an anonymous user. You can see I've got the register and the login links up top. That means Drupal thinks that I'm not authenticated. Let's suppose I don't do either of those things. I don't register and I don't log in, but instead I ask to get a key. This is going to direct me to the um, URL that lists the set of apps that I already have. And because I'm anonymous, um, access is denied. So I think that's not a satisfactory user experience. And what I'd like to do is use the Drupal module, uh, the Drupal rules module to avoid that experience. So let's flip over to another window where I am logged into the same developer portal uh, as an administrator. The first thing I need to do is go into the modules uh, administrative panel and uh, enable the rules module. So you'll actually see rules, and then there's a second one we need is the rules UI, which is going to present the uh, administrative interface for rules. Then I need to click Save. Okay, I've got that configured. Now what I'll see is inside the administrative uh, configuration menu item, down at the bottom, there's a new item called Workflow, and there'll be a rules entry. So let's click Rules, and I should see that there are no rules, but I want to add a new one. Uh, and this will be redirect anonymous users uh, upon trying to visit user me apps. Uh, tags is useful for searching in the ad admin panel, so I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. I do need to react on an event. I'm going to configure this rule to, to run when an event is occurring. And because I want the rule to affect um, the page that is being displayed, I'm going to select Drupal is initializing. So that's the first part uh, for this rule. Then what I'll need to do is add uh, the action. The thing that I want to do is to redirect. So I'm going to slide down to page redirect and it allows, Drupal is going to allow me to specify the path and this is going to be user slash register with no uh, uh, beginning slash. And I want to append the destination parameter. That's going to be the, the page that I, that the user originally tried to visit. So we're going to ask the user, um, the Drupal redirect to the user res registration page. But when do we want to do that? Obviously not always, but only on uh, certain conditions. And those conditions are the user is anonymous and they're trying to look at the, the keys they have available and add a new key. So let's add some conditions for that, both of those. So we'll do a text comparison. First thing we want to do is check for the, um, the site, uh, current page, and we'll look at the path. This is going to be a text value. And when it is user me apps, that's going to be the, um, the user is trying to visit that apps page. Uh, to either view their apps or to create a new one. So that's one of the conditions. And then I need another one, and they're implicitly anded together. And that one is uh, the user is anonymous. So I'll select user roles and select the anonymous user and save that. So what I've got now is uh, a rule that runs when Drupal is initializing. Uh, it applies the conditions, um, are we visiting this page and are we anonymous, is the user anonymous, in which case, if that occurs, we're going to redirect that anonymous user to the uh, user registration page. So that all looks good. Let me just flush the caches in Drupal. Okay, that's done. And now we will go back to the, um, the other page, the other browser, where I am visiting the same site, but now I am anonymous. Um, it's the anonymous user. Uh, and once again, we're going to click the get a key and start building apps. And we should see now the user is, the anonymous user is directed to the uh, user registration page. So that is how we can use the Drupal rules module to affect what Drupal shows to users uh, when they are not logged in. Of course, the Drupal rules module can be used for lots and lots of other things. For example, sending emails when 
uh, developers log in or when they register, when they request a registration, um, lots of other events. Explore the Drupal rules module and you may find it very useful.